Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well, what we're going to do today is we're going to move some modules around using a bit of negative margin so we can stack them on top of each other. So we're going to turn something like this into something like this or something. <laughs> okay, let's get started. I'm going to close this page. I'm not going to keep my changes and we'll start working on this page. I'm working with the awesome Divi theme here. It just keeps getting better and better with more and more features. If you want to take it for a test run, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So I'm going to go ahead and enable the visual builder, which will allow us to build on the front end. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work, which was this section right here. And at the moment we've got a, a a row with two columns in it and I'm going to change that to a one column row and stack these on top of each other and then we can arrange them how we want using some margins. So let's go ahead and do that. So here's our row. Blue tabs always for a section, greens for a row and the dark ones for the module. I'm going to go into this row. I'm going to check on that little icon which tells you how many columns you want. I'm going to change that back to one. And there we have it. It's already stacked them on top of each other. Now this first one right here, well, I guess I'll move the whole row up. That's what I'll do. So I'm going to go back into the row and I'm going to give it a negative margin, which will pull it up outside of this section here. I'll give myself a bit of working room. I'll put a bit of extra padding on the bottom of this one so we can move this one up without squishing this one. So again, I'm going to go into this row to design spacing and I'm going to give it an extra 100 pixels on the bottom, I guess. We'll try that. That's fine. As you can see, I've got a bit more white space down the bottom now. Let's go back down and go into this row. What I'm going to do is go to the same place, design and spacing. And this time I'm going to use margin, not padding. I'm just going to go minus one. I just hit the down arrow and I'm going to say, let's go say 150, 150 pixels. That'll pull it up by 150 pixels there. So sort of put it where you want it. I could even go up slightly more, I guess. Um, let's go 175. You can either type in your values or you can use the up and down arrows for sort of fine tuning. So that's fine. We'll leave it there. And as you can see, it's jumped it out of, out of the section that it was in here. And it's also popped these two up as well. So that's fine. We'll leave that one where it is. Now this one I'm going to sort of shuffle up and to the left and this one I'll shuffle up and to the right using exactly the same technique. So I'll just hit the save, the little checkbox there. I'm going to go into this module this time. We did it on the whole row before. And this module, well, let's get it started. There's no date there. Let's uh, just flip to the future quickly. So we've got a countdown going. No particular reason for that date. And design. And let's go to spacing once again. Now we want it to go up, so we want a negative top margin to make it go up. And probably don't want as much as I had before. Actually, that's not too bad. We'll leave it at 100. And I want to move it over to the left. So that means on the left hand side, I want to give it a negative margin as well. Let's give it a negative 100 to the left. That's popped it over there, but what it's done, it's sort of pulled this side longer. I want some space this side. So I'm going to give it the equal amount of space this side. There we go. And that's just shot the whole thing over there. And our next one. Again, I want it up a little bit and over to the right. So I'll pop this one over this side. 
just save that make sure we've got the right one go into this one hit the design tab spacing margin top you want it to go up again we'll try 50 I don't think I think 100 is going to be too much yeah that'll work that'll work and I want it to go to the right this time so I'll give it a negative on the right of uh, I'll give it 100 because that's what we gave the other one negative 100 and again that's popped it over nicely there but it's stretched it again this side so we want to equalize it out by giving it 100 this side there we go that's fine okay but which one do we want on top probably this timer so you can change what they call the Z index to pull or push anyone forward or backwards so let's go into this timer and we'll put it forward by giving it a higher Z index let's go to advanced and we're going to go down to visibility and right at the bottom here you'll see Z index and you can slide it up or you can type a nice high value in there and as I do that you're going to see it pop forward in front of these other two that are behind it there so let's just pop that one up there we go it's done it already with 15 so we've got this one residing on top so we're not missing any information there let's just save that and we'll save our changes Now one thing you want to bear in mind is you want to make sure it's going to look okay on laptop and mobile as well. So while we're in the visual builder, I'm on the desktop version right now. Let's look at the tablet version. That's actually all right. I'm, I'm not too worried about that. These spill off the end a little bit, but that doesn't bother me. You can still see all the info in there. So I look at the phone version. again that's okay but I think I might pop these two underneath each other for the mobile version so let's go back to the desktop version go back down to where we were and like I say the iPad version or the pad tablet version was fine but if I'm gonna go in here and for the telephone version mobile phone version Go down the spacing and if you just hover over the word margin up there go to the right a little bit there's a cell phone like icon left click on it it'll give you options for desktop tablet and phone and so what I'm going to do is I still want it to go up by the same amount no I don't think I do I'm going to leave it I'm going to have it like it was basically on the mobile so what I'm going to do is put a zero in there same with these zero zero and I'm going to do exactly the same for the one below but only on the mobile version so we're going into the bottom one now design spacing margin we only want it on the mobile so I'm gonna put a zero Ooh, make sure I'm on the right one phone zero zero it's like I still got 50 in there let's put that in there there we go okay and as you can see now on the cell phone these will be just directly underneath the module but they'll still because the row is pulled up it'll still be overlapping that section there but it's nicely visible on all devices there so a quick save save our page changes and exit the visual builder and let's see what we've got there we go there's our little sort of overlapping section that works fine for me 
you see this quite often with various little sections popping up over other bits and that's exactly how you do it just pop it up with a bit of negative margin and a bit of uh, Z index adjustment for whatever you want in front so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day